Hello and welcome to the Massively TV live stream. I'm Jeremy with Massively.com or Massively.joystick.com and I'm taking a look at Perpetuum today, a sandbox game that came out a little while back that uh, people have referred to as EVE uh, on the surface of planet, EVE in robots kind of thing. It's a sandbox game uh, that I've had a sub for f since I think around January, January or February. So I've built up quite a bit of points because one of the aspects of the game is similar to EVE in that you build up skills over time. But um, these skills, you will you earn these skill points but regardless of whether you're offline or online and all you have is one massive pool so it's an interesting game I thought we'd take a look at this is my little robot here yeah cookies it's it is kind of a Wally -E type of course I always thought of number five from from that movie what was that movie called Johnny five or I forgot what that movie was it's a long time ago this is just one of the robots you can get I'm going to hop into this terminal here. Let's see, let me give you a look at around. I'll start getting into the world and the world map and everything. Let's just jump into the... You, everyone starts in a terminal and you start out getting a... This is what it looks like basically. Everything's an interface similar to EVE, so if you've played EVE, you're probably familiar with it. Uh, you start in the terminal, you get a starter robot. Uh, this is not the starter robot, this is my Termus that I bought. And pretty much if you look up here on the top of the screen, at the top left and the top right, you see all these buttons. And these are your little tools and that. Uh, we've got news, mail, and we've got a whole bunch, agent profile, I can look up information on on myself and this is also where you buy extensions which that's what you spend your skill points on to improve yourself and your robot the idea is you're not actually piloting the robots but, um, mankind discovered this planet in the in the far reaches of space I guess and these they've developed technology to remotely control robots and that to mine and like to strip the planet of resources basically um, and now different factions have set up so there's different wars between the robots and that's the that's the super stripped down backstory there's actually quite a bit of, of lore you can look on the website You'll have corporation management. A core is basically like a guild. Um, here's the map too. So this world is. Whoops, I'm zoomed way in. This world is separated into islands, and they've just recently added a lot. They doubled the world size, by the way, in a recent patch. There was only like something like three or six islands, and now there's. Let me try to enlarge this. And now there's all these islands that make up the, wor the world currently. Some of these are PVE islands, so you can, are safe. <clears throat> Some of them are open PVP though. I guess they call it uh, FFA PVP for free for all PVP. Um, some of the PvP islands have better resources though. They want to tempt you into going there and cause that like um, I guess it's a way to instigate fights. I am on Deoden because when I created my character I chose when you when you start your character you can choose different fields and and different um, avenues you want to progress in whether you want to be mainly a combat combatant or minor or pro or production or anything like that 
and there's three there's three trees you can pick from. I chose I chose all production, so I'm pretty much um, mostly non-combatant, and uh, I like I like to mine, and I'm just now starting to get into production, and because it's a sandbox, um, there's not a whole lot of hand holding in the game. There is an there is an initial tutorial system, and you can and even later on you can repeat what's called assignments by different NPC corporations and whatnot. Let me find them here. Here we go. Assignments. I've done all of my tutorial assignments long ago. Um, there's reasons to repeat them. There's different. Um, you can gain reputation points with different different uh, buildings and that and then if you go to those buildings to do your your production or, or prototyping and etc you can supposedly you get a bonus towards that because you have a higher reputation with that particular that particular building or corporation um, so you just have a list here and let's see I'm in the a syntech or s -Tech terminal and let's go through a let's go through one just to show you what it's like. It's I highly recommend when you start the game do the tutorial missions, do all of them. And um <clears throat> and pro tip number 1 um save your skill points until at least until you're done doing all the uh, the uh tutorial rookie assignments. Because there's no hand holding and there's so many um extensions or they call them extensions in here there's so many extensions that you can buy or upgrade that it can be daunting and confusing when you first jump in I mean I played for almost almost a full month and was just kind of lost at what to do until I started reading more on the website and and learning a little bit more from playing and figuring out how to go about building my character in a way that I wasn't spreading myself too thin. I started learning about how um, some of the extensions, you know, concentrating on extensions that were more about mining and stuff for myself. Um, here's, an, here's a typical mission, beginner assignment. You get a little rundown of what to do and then it recaps simple, simple ex explanations. Uh, this one, let me not do that one. Let me do a mining one. These are, here's a industrial rookie assignment, number one. Okay. Uh, it'll tell you what you need, at least a miner module of your choice. Miner charge for Titan ore. You need to collect 50 pieces of Titan ore. And <clears throat> it'll tell you where you have to return to, which we just come back to this one. Accept. So that's in. And then we can leave the deploy to the ground. There'll be a marker. There's lots of markers and the user interface is highly customizable. Um, you'll see little markers all over the place meaning different things. Names of, NP names of other players, names of waypoints or terminals, uh, and just highlighting all significant buildings. You can turn those on and off in different windows. But here we go. We were looking for this little red A here. This game overall is, is a lot slower than a theme park like World Warcraft. So things just happen a lot slower. Uh, combat combat is g does get exciting and you can have lots of people in combat. They did add recently these are sort of like the roadways. I don't know what you want to call this. This is like a roadway towards a teleport. And recently, I don't know if you saw that I sped up as soon as I entered it, they added fast travel through these corridors. So that alleviated some of the, the tedium of, of traveling. The Each island, I mean, you saw how many islands there were, and there's there's a lot of islands and each one is really large this even this one I, I spent like hours going from one side 
traveling from one side to the other one day. So we're going to this little A here. That's our assignment point. And that's and doing these tutorial assignments will will help familiarize yourself a lot. There there aren't many of these assignments, but a little goes a long way. Yeah, this is a Termus uh, mining robot. This took me a while to get. I mi I just basically mined for a long time. <clears throat> I mined Titan ore here on Deoden, so I didn't have to. I didn't want to risk going to a PVP island. So here we are. It turns green, <clears throat> and I think I have everything I need right here. <clears throat> Let's see, I've now let me get into mining a little bit. Mining the proceed a, a typical procedure for mining is you have to you have to get all the materials you need first because your robots that you buy will have modules and in the top left hand corner below my health bar here you can see I have all these modules I have I have a bunch of mining modules on I have a standard small armor repair it's called and so on there's many 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 different modules you can get and you can constantly upgrade your your robot that way and mining you need to get you can improve mining by getting better mining modules which mine or faster or um, th and even p modules can reduce your cycle time with how long it takes to to cycle through and get bits of ore so overall your your time will will lower down let me get my ammo charge ready here okay I have tile based for Titan ore right here so what I did was I already own Titan ore it, uh, these um, charges they're sort of like ammo for a gun only these this is a geo scanner which helps you look for ore in the vicinity you're in so I think that might help to think of it in terms of it's like ammo for a gun and so what I'm doing is I'm loading my Titan or tile based geo scanner charge you have tile based and area areas for a larger area and then tile based is to find specific little plots of the ore and I don't know why mine's like s stuck in a loop here. Um, I hope I didn't run out of the tile based. Wouldn't you know it? We have to have some complications right off the bat. Here we go. I think I got it to get out of its loop. Okay. As soon as it's done here, if it finishes, if not, I'm going to move on to something else. Okay, it looks like it worked. So I loaded it, and then I can click on it to sort of fire it. once I did that it brings up this little window here in the lower right to give me my scanner results then I can upload them yeah my robots getting an error already that's the first time that happened to me actually not sure what is going on here geoscanner results 
for Deo Den. Titan Ore. Uh, maybe it's because I have too many going on here. I think I might need to delete these. Yeah. Let me try. You can store up multiple... Um, because everything acts like a little file, like a computer file, so it saves it. You'll have to delete it later. Because they do become useless, because ore can be used up in an area, and you have it regenerates all around the different islands. So let me get through this boring little area here okay let's try this again try make sure I have tile based geoscanner charge for Titan ore loaded so I'll fire it this brings this up again and I will oh I see they added this is new <laughs> they surprised me I had to click tick this box show after upload okay so I'll upload it and it will show it and you can see I don't know if you can see it on the screen there but all these little these little colored boxes appeared all over the ground they're all around me they're all the same color only because this is a very poor area to uh, mine in the the more ore there is the uh, the um, the diff the pockets of ore will be different colors. They'll they'll start at like black and move up through the shades of green and then yellows and oranges and red being um, being the highest concentrations. I noticed one thing. Um, when I resized this window, it didn't, it didn't re, it didn't readjust my, it didn't readjust all my user interface options. So s some of the buttons aren't accept aren't accessible. I wanted to bring up. So real quick, I'm gonna jump over oh it did they changed they changed the user interface in the last patch wouldn't you know it oh well um, I wanted to get to my assignment here to review it but I'm gonna move on to location B here Cookies is asking about PVP. Uh, PVP is real time. So, um, I mean, like, if I was on a PVP island, uh, a guy could come around that corner right now and start shooting at me. And it's not turn based at all. It's based on his modules. And he might be, he might have better modules than me, which might, for instance, he might have stronger lasers. Uh, stronger machine guns and he might even have modules that help him fire at a faster rate and then that you know he, he can just whittle away my armor faster um, I do have an armor repairer to help me try to uh, to repair any immediate damage but everybody has an, an armor and an accumulator and that's sort of like energy usage and you use energy for everything you, you Lasers take up a lot of energy, like, uh, and the higher the laser, the more energy it takes up. You can, but you can offset that by getting accumulator rechargers, which I have a couple, and and you know, and so on like that. I'm gonna fire off another charge and upload it. Oops, I forgot to hit show. I'll go into my map and click and tick it off there
Wow, there's like nothing here. So I'll move on to point C. Usually these assignments, um, it can be hard to find or especially nowadays. When I first started before some patches, there used to be some regular Titan ore deposits that were really neat, you know, you can learn where they're at. They do run out, but if you just wait a day or so, they'll, they would um, regenerate. But now they've mixed it up even more, and they've they've made it more varied to be a little more realistic. All right, looks like there's a healthier, yeah, slightly healthier deposits are here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Go, oops, I have to move my window over. Come on. I have a little landmark information window and it if I'm just clicking around, I use my windows, but you can create shortcuts for key options. Like I made one for my map. I just press M now my map pops up. Uh you have to get modules cookies to um to move faster. Things you can um, and you can't fly. As far as I know, they haven't added anything in the game that lets you fly. Um, Bagladouche. Yeah, Bagladouche is right um, about the modules and the fighting. Uh, fighting is very realistic, and there's all this ground cover, and this ground cover can be destroyed. Too, if, if it's hit enough, these plants and trees and stuff, and these plants and trees grow back different areas. So uh, it's it's like a a more realistic, more realistic, maybe a little slower for some who are used to like instant action, like in World of Warcraft. Yeah, my top speed is only on this term is 59 kph. So I'm. I targeted this one node by clicking on it, and I, but I well I clicked on it. I need to target it through this landmark information window or a shortcut key, and you can see that it's highlighted now. And now I can go over to my modules and click on one of them to fire it, like I'm firing a gun, and it will just keep going repeatedly. So when I click on it, it just keeps cycling through until I stop it. And modules need uh, modules. Mining modules need charges too. Is this is this Bagladouche here in front of me? Who says says it's Inda? Some Inda guys hanging around me. I have a speed nexus actually. I mean. I never use it in a group, but when I turn it on, it works for me alone. Now you can see I started mining, and a little and a little red ray came out there. It's basically zapping and pulling up the uh, the ore, and I can open my cargo right here. And find my ore, and I can see the percentage of cargo I have or cargo room I have left and everything's measured in like units or or I use I think or just units um, now if I want to I can go ahead and speed this up by using all of my minor chart my minor modules on this at once up oh, the tie there's the Tile results. I missed that. Tile contains no material left, so um, it'll automatically stop mining, and I can move on to the next tile. I guess that tile's empty. I meant in the game. <laughs> There's a there was a mech a robot hanging around me called Inda, and I was asking you if that, I was asking you Bagladouche if if you were in game right now. Which is cool if you were. So I need to detarget this, though. 
and you can you can buy modules and upgrade and get better mechs that allow for more than one target at a time There's something else you can do in the game so these are loading as soon as they load up they'll start mining see there he is again oh no that's Spagladouche there you are hey what's up so I could target him and look up information about his robot he has a chameleon here's some more information on it and it gives you parameters components extensions wow those um, tiles are running out of ore fast there's many 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 things in the game that you can do I mean it's a sandbox game so there's no there's no coming into it and and saying okay where am I supposed to go well you go wherever you want to go um, I'm gonna head to this other location here that's on the assignment list so you kind of just pick what you want to do um, there is some structure to the game uh, people can corporations or guilds can set up shop on and control P the PvP islands which helps them control the access of certain raw materials and gives them power and prestige and in a game like this and especially EVE uh, the economy is, ba uh, is very important basically I, in games like World of Warcraft you have you have an auction house and you sort of have an economy that's a very very structured economy I'm gonna go back here get some more very it's a very stripped down economy it's not really I don't know what you would call it whoops I'm getting carried away here but in Eve and this and Perpetuum here the economy is is very robust and it's big it's all about people controlling that money Smokey who's Smokey are you in the chat room I just now saw saw you say that you could see yourself on TV now see here's some big lots here we go the big red one this will I'll target this with all my modules so um I'm taking way longer than a person should to finish this little assignment mission but it's, it should give you a good idea and show you a good idea of what what it, things look like I did one thing I noticed they just changed since the last time I long, logged in uh, was um, the uh, like I said some of the user interface looks a little bit different and these these Titan ore nodes are square they used to be round which that's cool I mean it's just like a graphical thing oh yeah there there is a dev dev zoom yeah you're, you've, did you mean infamous or e-famous it'd be funnier if it, if it was e, you did mean e-famous e-famous yeah cool I don't know how to say well chat is chat's not like World of Warcraft there's an open window here I can go to general chat chat and he's in general chat right now I and I could let's see I could bring that up higher so I can oh look at that that's very nice of them thank you greetings to massively 
Yeah, um, the devs are always in here. By the way, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and and, uh, and plug them because it's not fake. Um, every time I've ever logged into the game, there's been at least one dev on, if not, or at least one GM on. If not, there's always been a, a couple GMs and even a couple devs at the same time. Who's fighting? Are they are they gonna put on a show? Okay, let's check it out. Let me end this mining thing, and we'll go. See now you can see that um, some plants just got destroyed there. Let's get a better view here for everybody. Where are they at? So it's all real time action here. And they can use the ground cover to their advantage. Missiles and everything everything has a strategic uh, purpose, which is kind of cool. Combat is really combat's really neat, although I'm not huge on combat personally. But there's I mean lasers have an advantage that over machine guns and missiles have an advantage because they can arc and avoid different types of cover um, you have things like range a lot a lot of stuff to mix things up let's get a little closer we can I'm trying to keep them both in the screen though so we can So let's try to. See, whoops. Let's. Oh, he got owned. Let's dev off wins. Winner. Let's see if I can look at what dev off has real quick. He's got a. What does he have? A Mesmer MK2. And you can look at all of his components he has on here. It's probably not going to make much sense to people who haven't played the game before, but just like any game, I mean, you have to kind of know know the the different aspects of the game. But uh, where was I? Perpetuum is Perpetuum is a really fun sandbox game. I've been I've been sub to it since January, and. Um, I, I like sandbox. Uh oh. Now these other guys that are coming in here with different mechs. You see this guy has this red red reticle around him. That means he's targeting me. So there's different. Um, I don't know if it, I don't know if the devs turned on like turned on PVP for everybody on this island. But he's targeting me right now, and I could target him back, and he'll see me that I'm targeting him. Yeah, this is Deo Den, the Omen. Oh, the Omen, huh? I believe that you are a core mate that uh, recruited me, aren't you? So I guess it's turned into a little bit of a party here, which was very cool of the devs and, and everybody. Thank you very much um, to help show off the game. But I would, uh, before we end here, we got another half hour, I do want to get around to going and looking at the marketplace and some of the other tools. Um, They're they're being crazy now. 
So I guess we have a lot of people in game and in the chat. That's very cool. Okay. Um, some of the uh, some of the new since the last patch, some of the new uh, things they changed messed me up a little bit with this assign with completing these assignments. Um, I wanted to just go through the the length of an assignment, but I think I showed you enough. I showed you how to find the the ore and then how to mine it. And then basically once you just turn it on, you mine it, and then when you fill up your cargo with enough of it, it'll say assignment usually it says assignment complete and you can head back to the terminal terminal it told you to head back to in order to turn in the assignment. And then you can get higher stand you'll you can get money and uh, you can get hi higher standings and uh, any other bonuses, new bonuses that might have applied. Just give everybody a thank you. You've been invited to a corporation. Invited by... Oh, I'm not even in the corporation yet. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, it's saying I've been transferred to another corporation. Was I already in one? That's a little bit confusing, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought I was in, but that's okay. I mean, I haven't been on enough recently. I just, uh, I'm just trying to get back into a routine to start playing more. Oh, okay. I was there. That's that's a good thing to bring up. Um, there are right. There are like NPC corporations that you can get into. And there are player corporations, and I was in a player. Tr I was in an NPC corporation, and uh, I must have forgot. Uh, either that, or it automatically puts you in one during creation. Okay, let's take. I think we can look at. We used to be able to look at the market, but not be able to use it. For, okay, here we go. Here's the market. Um, this is where ev this is where everything goes down for me, at least. I go and mine, and I'll go and mine sometimes for hours, and and get a ton of titan ore, and then come back to sell it on the market. Now, you used to be it probably still is. I'm guessing you could only use the market while you're inside of a terminal. And also keep in mind that once you're in a terminal. That's a specific location in the world. So each terminal will, will let you have infinite cargo space. And if you drop things off in that cargo space, that's where it will be. If you go to another terminal uh, thinking you can access it, you won't, be able, you won't find your stuff because you, you'll have to go back to the terminal you left it in to get it. Uh, like here's, everything's very easy to find. Here's a list of robots. Um, I can click on robots, standard service robots. Let's try, let's just try some um, Palistal light robots. And then here's, down here it tells the different ones. I clicked on one and it shows current market prices and, and locations where they can be found. Sometimes you can't buy something unless you go to that specific terminal. And that's another neat thing. It's another way of instigating you into going on to say, a PvP island because there might only be a terminal on that island that has what you want or need and then and so you know you're gonna have to take the risk you either don't upgrade or find something else or or go risk it and go on the PvP island and that's why and that's just a very small reason to have a corporation to be in a core um, because especially if you're a miner like me I mean you're not going to be you can get weapons and you can put up a fight I guess and get shields and stuff but um, you're really going to do better in a group get in a group and uh, um, you know have them help you out they, they can like they can clear the road for you while you're mining they can watch your back 
Uh, the game's all about this. The game's all about heavy, it's, it's a very heavy community kind of thing. And what I love about this game, uh, Eve a little bit too, but uh, it, similar aspects, I think, in all sandbox games, is I love the emergent gameplay that happens and, and the real, real world news. You know, not, not many games um, really have real news. You know, like late breaking news, you might, you turn on the evening news and you hear about somebody that just blew up someone's car or something, let's just say, and, you know, and it was somebody who was real prominent in the community. And that, you know, that's, that's like real news. And then it's like you find out, out about somebody who, who lied and got into a core and then like stole everybody's money or something. That, that stuff can really happen, and it happens with real people. So that's really intriguing to me. I really love that. That's, I mean, that's, that's, they tr that's typical in, in, uh, in EVE, too. But, and I don't want to just, I don't want to keep, uh, you know, keep only comparing, comparing this to EVE, because it's its own game. It's, um, They've they've already developed quite a, a player base. I, I've heard a lot of people say that joke around that no one's playing this game, but and even aside from all the people hanging out here, which was re really really cool of them, they, they I see people all the time. Even late night, even when I'm even when I'm on the early morning hours or doesn't matter. There's people who play it. Um, so you'll always find, you'll always find, you can always find help, is what I'm trying to say. So let's, let's run back to the terminal real quick. I better let them know. They, you're, they're probably all in chat, you're probably all in the chat room, but I'm gonna type it in anyways. still be buzzing around. So let's just hurry up and um, <coughs> now some of these buildings you can't destroy. When I was talking about destructible objects and that, some of these buildings you can't destroy but because they all have like permanent uses. Some of them are prototype buildings some of them are manufacturing plants. You can do things like um, become a miner and uh, and upgrade into production. And you, what you can do is you can either have friends hunt down NPC robots, enemies of your faction or island. Then you can and and you can get drops off of them. Things like, uh, you can get these cores, and uh, those cores you can use in, in learning new technologies. Uh, there's actually some of the things in the game, you can, you can, well most of the stuff in the game, you can only get that way. That's, some, uh, that's another hallmark of this game, and maybe others, but um, everything is player driven. and. Uh, so if they release new technology you know in a in an updated patch that every then that doesn't immediately go into the game it's not like immediately in the auction house or in the market where you can buy it uh usually someone has to collect all the technology and all the cores and information they need to be able to prototype it or or build it and then then once that starts getting into production then it can bleed into the market. Let's look at extensions. Jump over to extensions. Now extensions, I said again, are like sort of like player skills and there's just a ton of them. And I imagine in the future they'll always add more when needed. Here's just a list of some of them. You can see as I'm scrolling down. Some of them, many of them I don't have. Some of them I do. For instance, let me go to engineering. 
Under the engineering section of the extensions, I have armor repair level one, and then I can see what how many EP, that's like the skill points, I need to level up to level two. I need 159 EP. Well, I can see up here in the left top left corner that I have 38,000 EP. I've been I've been saving these up. Ladderus, uh, yeah, we're live right now. If you're watching right now, we're live. I I started at 7 p.m. today, June 8th. And uh, so let me upgrade my. Well, first let me show you the tooltip. There's tooltips, and then each level of this extension reduces the cycle time of armor repairs by an additional five percent. Um, armor repairs are a module, like I showed you before. Let me get back out of this real quick and open my mech up, or my robot. Here is a layout of my robot and all the spaces this one has and all the modules I have in it. Now, each mech will have different amounts of modules. <laughs> no, I don't have much money, Omen. 252,000, well, just under 253,000. Yeah, I am poor. But back to the mo back to the modules. Each each different mech is going to have a different amount of modules. Um, your starter mech is not going to have this many, and they're separated into locations like left side and right side. Um, I have my reactor here. I have my C on the bottom. I have my CPU on the top. And there's just a plethora of modules. Uh, I mostly have mining. Like I said, the Termus is a good mining robot. And so I've added, a st I have two standard mining modules, which aren't great. I mean, actually most of my stuff's not great yet. Um, two standard mining, and I have two standard medium miner modules, which are a little bit better, help me out. I have the standard small armor repairer. I have two of the standard accumulator rechargers. I have a standard lightweight frame. This will lighten my the weight of my mech, which will allow me to go a little bit faster. I have the geoscanner. I have these things to help me from mining. They're standard industrial tunings. Whoops. Let me see how I can... Here we go. And everything has information windows on it. So if you do feel lost, there's, you're never far. You're only a click or two away. Wow. Somebody just sent me a ton of money. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> I don't want to, I mean, I kind of feel bad now. Yeah, I'm looking at it, Inda. Thanks. Um, I'll keep that, I'll tell you what, I'll keep that there for now so I can continue on with this live stream and not get too sidetracked more than I already am, but I'll talk to you in a few minutes after it, okay? Alright, thank thank you very much, by the way. Um, but here's the information. The module increases extracted mineral amount per cycle. So everything I've been working towards is mining, getting the ore out of the ground faster, and being able to, well, basically getting the ore out of the ground faster, ultimately. And there's many, many things. I, I don't even I would have to read it off like a phone book if I were to tell you all the different modules and what all those modules do. But needless to say is all of all of these hundreds or maybe even thousands of modules to upgrade, they allow you to change how your mech or your robot or you operate. And depending on the job you want to do, which because it's a sandbox, it lets you do pretty much anything you want to do, uh, that, that steers your life in the game. There are some things, there are some general general goals that I think everybody shares. Everybody wants to uh, get more powerful, w regardless of what that means in the game. And everybody wants, and most people want to kick butt. <laughs> so they want to get better lasers and pew pew and, and things like that. Um, here's the private storage I was talking about. And one of the neat things about this is Private storage in terminals, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but until recently, 
at least until recently or not permanently was uh, unlimited storage so I, and as you can see I don't have much, many things um, but these are all these different all these different things are either modules or or charges which is basically ammo for my modules uh, some of these things like down here at the very bottom I have a decoder and that's what you get when you like go out and fight some NPC drones and there's different level of drones on different islands which some of them are really nasty um, I've been owned I've lost a couple mechs by being stupid and just exploring too far but you get all these decoders and that teaches you things you can learn you can learn how to make new things in, for production that's what I'm gonna do this is a termus robot Gavin yeah um, Gavin mentions the user interface and yeah I'll comment on that uh, the user interface is really sharp and clean and it works really well I don't know, don't really have much else to say I can expand on that basically basically everything's like window operated and it's n I never feel that it's glitchy ever it's that's all it's always and everything's movable if I wanted to I could open let's see open my map you can resize the windows let's get crazy I can put that over there um, okay oh let's see open my assignments window market see it's it's um I guess you could say it's like a spreadsheet I used to have many robots until I started getting them blown up but I do have some at the top here I, now I have this arc I think it was the arc is your starter robot so here's what happens. Let's say you uh, are playing, you're new to the game, and you only have one or two robots built up, and uh, you bl you uh, got it blown up. You got all your robots blown up. So you don't have any, you, What will happen is you'll kind of respawn inside your ter in your terminal and you'll get you'll always get a free starter robot so you're never gonna be without a robot um, I just got a trade from o the omen and this is my first trade ever so by the way thanks a lot guys this is actually part of what I wanted to do I wanted to just show off this game and all the different functions and tools and and doing all and you guys doing all this is really helping out a lot so um, I don't how much do you want um, let I can run over to I guess I could run to a PvP island and then get blown up just to show you <laughs> but I guarantee you if I go to a PvP island I'm gonna just get bombed okay I have a Prometheus let me um, change and that's the thing you can have as many robots as you want if I had a hundred rope if I had enough money I could buy a hundred robots and then deck them all out differently so then I could play however I wanted I guess the equivalent on a theme park game would be having alts that's why you have an alt um, so let me equip this now here's my Prometheus all my modules are empty um, I do have let me I have some lasers here yeah okay so, whoops item not found let me, let me try this okay there's a machine gun I put two machine guns in let's try um, plate armor to help boost my armor I don't know why it's not letting me. There it goes. There's a laser. 
there's a laser. Now you need ammo, so I do have some ammo. I have small volcano energy cells. This is all very weak, and for the people who have who play the game, I'm sure you understand. But this, th th it shows you what it's like to pl actually play the game. So that's what I wanted to show off. So basically, that's what you do. You'll buy all these mods. You'll get a mech. You you might you start out with a small mech. You'll go kill some stuff, do the tutorial assignment, get the money. Um, let me try to see if put that in there. Then get, then buy a better mech, and then buy and then if you want to go combat, you might want to create your character towards that. Okay, so I think I have the essentials. I thought I had. Oh, you know what? I have to. All my machine gun ammo is in my thermos. So let me. Because I do have one machine gun on my thermos. So when I go go out near any drones, I at least can pick those off. To, so I don't have to keep leaving my preferred war spots. Uh, equip. Uh, cargo, cargo, cargo. Yeah, let's just take this out real quick. There's now there's probably shortcuts I'm not using, but that's okay. Um, when you're playing, you can you can use key shortcuts and learn all this stuff. So let's load up these. Have them preloaded. Whoops. Uh. There we go, and then I'll go ahead and throw it in my cargo because if I run out, it'll automatically reload for me. Uh. All right, let's deploy and let's go. Let's go try to find some pew pew action. Whoops. <laughs> I gotta change. I gotta change to my other Mac. Oh shoot! I, now you can't immediately jump in and out of the terminuses because you get these little statuses: molecular instability, and you have to wait until that slowly runs out. So I kind of just wasted a few minutes. We're getting close to the end of the live stream, but I'll go ahead and, and go over a little bit. I do know Justin is going to be live streaming Rift in at 9 p.m. and it's 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time right now. Um, okay, I'll join a squad. I'm guessing that's some people invited me to a squad. I have to change my mech though. I want to change that Pro Prometheus. So der 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 der. Okay, I forgot I had to activate it. I was only looking at its um, at its cargo and whatnot, but now now I've activated it, and it will reflect on the here. You, you, I should have double checked right here. You can just see a picture of it, so, so it shows which one you have active. Okay, I was just gonna. Yeah, I'm kind of slow. I was just going to randomly go to where there's some PvP action. If you know where there's instant PvP action that doesn't take forever to get to, uh, then feel free to lead the way. And who's who's the who's the uh, leader here? So we follow the omen. Even if we don't see other players, I'll show you some of the NPC drones. Because um, some of the later combat assignments will send you to some dangerous areas. You might need to go, they might ask you to go kill 
Whoops, now where are we going? They might ask you to go kill some of these drones as part of the assignment. Okay, I, I see. Some people are talking in-game in chat. Go to um, Dark Omega. Go from Asyntec to New Brandenburg. From there to Galilee. Okay. Let me double check my map here. And zoom in. So from this from this Sangoodle teleport, I can get to New Brandenburg. I'm guessing I can't go off mem memory. Okay. Yeah, it's all the colors in that are divided into regions. Actually, let me bring this up. These these yellow lines are are teleport directions. These are the there's different teleport locations all over the island and in each from each one you have to learn your routes because they don't all go everywhere. Okay, om I'm going to let the omen lead the way. So, so here's the teleport, and it, it's just like um, I'm guessing we're going to New Brandenburg right here on Attilica, right? I, I'm got I'm going to go ahead and go. If tell me if I messed up, I'll come back. Okay, whoops, there's, there's Bagladoosh. Where's the omen? Is he on his way? Oh, we could manually flag. So I so we we all can flag for PVP right here. So um, I have to remember how. Oh, that's right. So are you sure you want to turn on the PVP plat? PVP plat ugh, I can't speak PVP flag yes do that so now I'm flagged so so I can show off my basically my really weak lame lasers oh is it, well let me sh is he, is a uh, is Kenogi flagged Oh, now see here's here's Inda. We'll, we'll tar target him. Now I have to target him. Whoops, he's too far away. Well, you're too fast for me. This is like PvP for dummies. <laughs> okay, now when you target something or someone, it takes time to target. Mo you can get modules to help you out with that. But as you can see, there's well, you can't might, maybe not. It's a t there. We just turned green, which means I targeted. Now I can shoot him. 
Ah, see, I'm shooting them. And and now I can control all my running around. Like I can do all this and run around and stuff while I shoot. And then I can use the terrain to my advantage. Run behind things to try to not get hit. I can turn my armor repair on to start healing as long as I keep an eye on my accumulator. Whoops, I lost target. So I have to retarget. So this this is actually gives you a really good idea of what combat's like. So now this is a machine gun I'm firing. All this is very weak stuff. Like, I've basically been mining, and even with mining, I haven't been doing all that great. As, as, but I do have a nice pool of, of, e, of EP saved up to spend on some more modules. You can zoom way out. Graphics are really nice. Um, As you can see, I'm barely scratching him. He has a little health bar on the left side of his, of the reticle that where I have him targeted, and it will show, kind of give you an indication of how much health I have him down to. And up here on the top left is mine. Now, we might be getting into. Are we getting in near some drones? Okay, I'm going to have to end this soon. Um, but to a little bit to recap, the um, Perpetuum is a sandbox MMO um, that that some people have said is like Eve on in robots, but it ha it has its own uniqueness. Um, and in the future, they're going to be separating they're going to be distinguishing themselves even more from all other games I think. Um, I heard hinted at one time there was going to be um, a terraforming patch which sounds really cool to me like it sounds like you're actually going to be able to shape the ground and whatnot and having played and really loved games like Worm Online that really sounds interesting to me and there's I believe there's no, there's not just ore you can get. There's you can get, you can harvest plants and things like that, and all kinds of other stuff. But the user interface, like Gavin said earlier, is, I really like it a lot. Um, it's tight and crisp and clear, easy to see. Everything's configurable the way you want it. You can resize the windows and move them around. Um, even my health, even my up here, like my modules, I can move that around. And it's the game's heavy on on economy. I'm trying to I'm trying to just recap here, but I'm doing a bad job at it. <laughs> but um, but this basically uh, this was a look at per or at Perpetuum f on Massively TV. Again, I'm Jeremy, and um, this is my first time live streaming Perpetuum. Um, I'd be happy to do it again in the future. I've m mainly have live streamed Runes of Magic. That's my main game. So unfortunately, I can't sit here and say, if you'd like to know more about Perpetuum, check out my articles on Massively, because I write, my, my articles are about Runes of Magic. But Massively always posts up new information about Perpetuum when it's relevant and when things are going on. Um, I think recently they, they put up some, I remember they put up that change when they when people players found an exploit and started like making mechs and then immediately destroying the mechs because they found out they could collect a higher um, higher insurance rate and so they just so 
it created sort of a monopoly. All the rich cores were pumping out mechs left and right and then immediately destroying them and, and making a profit. Things like that um, you can find whenever it pops up it'll be on massively. But uh, I'm going to get going soon. I want to say thanks again to the developers and the GMs. Uh, they really made it made it fun and you really helped me to show off a lot of cool stuff that uh, I probably would have struggled to show off on my own within the time limit. And um, sorry I might not have gotten to answer all the questions in the chat room. Um, it was really cool everybody showed up. Um, if you want to know more about, you want to watch more live streams on Massively, then check out the MV guide that Ruby puts out every Monday. And she'll list what everybody's live streaming for the week. This week I really live streamed a lot. I usually only live stream Runes of Magic every Friday. This week I went through like Algonon, Vanguard, Perpetuum today, and then tomorrow I'm doing Runes of Magic. I'm filling in for Bo, who is a madman. He, <laughs> he's, he's a mad live streamer on Massively TV. He's and and since he's gone at E3, which um, I'm not at E3, which I wish I was, but I'm I'm trying to fill the Bo void. Okay, so I'm gonna sign off now, and uh, I'll jump into the chat room and hang out with you guys for a little while. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody in game. And um, I'll, I'll see you next time.